Good morning, I'm Michelle Ruck in our Kansas City studio. Clinton is on vacation. Some hopeful signs about crop conditions in the latest report from USDA. While 70% of the nation's corn crop is still reported to be in drought, 51% of it is now rated good to excellent. And that's a 1% increase over last week. The port of very poor category now at 15% unchanged from last week. And that's a positive considering the corn crop has gone steadily down in ratings since the start of the growing season until now. But for the soybean crop, there was a 1% drop in ratings from the previous week. Now 50% is rated good to excellent compared to last week's 51%. But crop conditions still dropped in several states last week, even with some rain, and that's the case in Nebraska. Nebraska is still seeing the carryover effects of last year's drought, and central and eastern portions of the state have had very little precip this season. As a result, both irrigated and dryland crops saw another drop in crop ratings, even with some spotty rains last week. In USDA's latest crop progress report, 49% of the corn was in good to excellent condition. That's down 8%. Soybeans were rated only 43% good to excellent, a drop of 4%. So the crop is definitely seeing stress. On the dryland corn, I mean, by noon it looks like pineapples and it's uh, 12 inches tall. So um, the chances of that corn actually producing much of anything is pretty slim. Soybeans, yeah, there's some potential there, but it's going to have to happen pretty soon. Last year at this time, the drought had not fully set in yet in Nebraska, so 62% of the corn and 61% of the soybeans were in good to excellent condition. Tomorrow we'll look at how this year's drought in Nebraska may actually be more of a disaster than in 2022.